Yahawa is a very old name for Agni Dev. It appears again and again in the Rig Veda. So I searched up the name Yehovah in Sanskrit to see if it shows up anywhere in the Vedas and I just get a message in Sanskrit telling me the word just doesn't exist. The name he's actually referring to is pronounced something like Yahva or Yahvam depending on the dialect. I look that up in the original Sanskrit and it shows up over 30 times in the Vedas. Referencing the Sanskrit dictionary, this word has multiple meanings depending on the context. One meaning is a sacrificer or an institutor of sacrifices. The other common words used in Sanskrit to refer to sacrifice or a sacrifice are Yajamana and Yagna. It also means continually moving or flowing, referring to water. Another meaning is restless, swift, or active. And as you can see here, it's applied to Agni, Indra, and Soma. So it doesn't just refer to Agni Dev, but a multitude of deities. So the Sanskrit word Yahvam has nothing to do with the word Yehovah, which is actually a much later transliteration in an attempt to vocalize the Tetragrammaton. And this name was taken as one name for the God of the Jews and then the Christians. And they think, oh, this is the one name of God, can only be this one. Yeah, again, Yehovah has absolutely no connection to the Hebrew word for God. This is just a fallacy of equivocation. He seems to be attempting to make the connection based on Yehovah kind of sounding similar to the transliteration of the Tetragrammaton. This is kind of like when Muslims make the claim that the generic word for God in Aramaic sounds similar to the Arabic word for God, followed by some sort of claim that their religion must be true based on this. This is a fallacy and the lowest tier of argumentation and they make a separate religion. But it's like one long branch from Sanatan Dharam. Sanatan Dharam is the base of the tree. This is that typical Hindu claim that all religions derive from Sanatana Dharma based on it being a quote unquote the oldest religion. This again is the lowest form of argumentation as Sanatana Dharma is simply paganism and paganism has existed everywhere since the dawn of time. Also there is no historical or archaeological evidence substantiating this claim. The evidence actually points to Judaism and Christianity developing completely separate of Sanatana Dharma all the branches have come from or the top of the mountain that all of the different paths lead to i'm gonna save you time he just waffles on about how all paths lead to one truth i've had this conversation with hindus countless times this is logically inconsistent as all the paths which is the different religions all contradict one another and two this is a claim that truth is relative yet you're making an absolute statement that truth is relative which is a paradox and a self-contradicting claim there is a reason why you rarely see gurus or individuals that study sanatana dharma defending their claims in public debates one their belief don't really call for it and two the inconsistencies in various claims within Sanatana Dharma would get exposed worse than Islam. 